All right, everyone, let's talk about the joys of online dating. It's just fun. So today I meet a woman, match with her on Facebook dating app. Talk back and forth, seem to be getting along. Took a chance and said, hey, here's my personal Facebook profile page. Please don't feel obligated to respond in kind. Just check out my page, let me know what you think. She responds with a, yeah, no thanks, I'm gonna have to take a pass. She said that I had some stuff about dating on the page and that the models just weren't for her. She just wasn't into that. Uh, she said, because I had a lot of pictures of models on my page. Now, they're not like models, like swimsuit models. I'm not gross like that. Models like this. These are not models. And I responded and said, A, I don't have a lot of stuff about dating on Facebook. And if I do, they're just funny little things that you know, nobody should be offended by. And I said that these aren't models, nor are they toys. These are art sculptures that I created. And I thought maybe that would change her mind. She would think, oh, he's an artist. And I went even so far to tell her, I said, you know, I've never been rejected by a person because of my art. Huh, laugh out loud. I guess there's a first for everything. But good luck. And she sends me a thumbs up. Whatever. So she doesn't like my art. That was the primary reason. Go figure. I mean, I got helicopters, military vehicles, planes, trains, automobiles, <laughs> artsy stuff like flowers and butterflies and wildlife, dioramas, Avenger stuff. Transformers, you name it, uh, a little bit of everything. But I guess she just doesn't like that, right? You know, I, I just, I get it. If you don't, you don't have to like my art. What would she have respected it if I had put paint on canvas? Is this not highbrow enough? Does she think that I'm like some overgrown man child running around playing with helicopters in my living room? No, I just make things for my youth, things from pop culture, things that are instantly recognizable. It's art. But I wasn't asking her to go on a date with me and create art. I wasn't asking her to do it. The story gets even better. I post on Facebook what happened, and a lot of my friends and family are chiming in saying, wow, that's kind of crazy. She, not being a friend of mine, not even knowing me outside of the dating app, revisits my page and posts that I'm lying. That she did, she only said that my art wasn't for her, you know, and she wasn't into it. But that the primary reason was we lived too far apart. I was living across the border and we had too much of an age gap. Well, that's a lie. And I responded as such. But when I posted the response, she deleted her comment and scampered away. We never talked about age. When I looked at her profile, I think she said she was like 52 or 53. I'm 50. Also, distance. Her profile page said that she lives 27 miles away from me. It's only a 30 minute drive taking the expressway. Yes, I live in another state. It's across the border. People routinely go across the border. Um, dating 30 minutes away is nothing. But she never mentioned it. And that means she's lying. She never said anything. She mentioned the a, a post or two about dating, which were, to me, not offensive. And anybody that I've shown has said, yeah, that's not offensive. But she focused on my art. And I think that's a bizarre thing to do. You not want to go out with someone because they're an artist? I mean, if you don't like me doing art... Don't do it when I'm around. I won't do it when you're around. Truth of the matter is, this whole collection of art pretty much is my life as a single bachelor now, you know? If I meet someone and fall in love, I'm not going to be doing that as much. I'm going to be focusing on her. My art will probably take a back seat because I'm more of a people person than a do things by myself person. But just imagine ruling someone out 
You're getting along with them fine. You know, I could have understood if she went to my Facebook page and saw my posts about the Kyle Rittenhouse shooting, about politics and media that I talk about, and if that rubbed her the wrong way and she said, oh, you know what, you're a conservative, I'm a liberal, this isn't going to work. I could have accepted that. I'd have been like, cool, I get it, because there's just too many points of contention. But my art? I mean, it's like not wanting to date someone because they love to cook. Ugh, well, I like to eat out all the time. So be it, or flip that around. Oh, I can't date you because you want to eat out at restaurants all the time. You don't want to stay home and cook. Seems kind of like a trivial basic thing. But cooking is, you know, you keeps you alive. So that one is actually more important. But to not want to be around someone because they, they're artists, that gets me. I would like to think that she was just not confident enough to give me the real reason. But by her coming back and lying and saying that it was for other reasons, I think what it is is she realized how foolish she looked. The people were on my side. And when I had told her that I was an artist, I'm sure she had no way to come back from that. But she could have just simply said, oh my gosh, I had no idea. I thought you collected toys. It's happened to me before. I had a woman actually tell me, what are all those toys in the cabinets behind you? And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa those aren't toys. And when I explained to her, she said, that is so cool. And I sent her photographs up close and detailed, and she was blown away. We went on a date. We didn't hit it off. But at least she handled that well. This woman today didn't. Who knows? I'd like to say her loss, but let's face it, I'm no real prize. Um, maybe it's my loss. But I'll never know. I'd like to know what you guys think. Um, is it really worth dismissing someone because they have an art collection that might be eccentric? Or does it make it even more eccentric that I built this eccentric art collection? Should that make me undateable? I'd like to think that my bullcrap personality and unpleasant disposition and ugly looks are reason enough to not want to date me. God bless. Thanks for watching.